Victor, if I don't get something to drink, I'm going to dehydrate. I mean it. Oh, come on, Victor. I'm dying of thirst. I just want a drink. Ice, please. I can't drink warm soda. Ow! Oh, great. I broke another nail. Oh, You're lucky that's all broken. Hey, by the way, what made you think to bring these handcuffs? I mean, did you buy them, or are they a favorite toy of yours? This isn't the Riviera, Dinah. I no longer find you amusing. You're only good for the money. Yeah, well, you know, you're no prize either. And you'd better hope the money comes up quick. You know, this whole plan might have worked better if you'd been silenced. Silenced? <laughs> Come on, Victor. I mean, think about being in this place without me. You'd be totally bored. Listen, can you get me my cigarettes? They're over there somewhere. And we need another ashtray, because this plastic thing is going to set on fire. No. No more smoking. I hate the smell. It's a filthy habit. I can't stand the smell of cigarettes, and French cigarettes are the worst. Come on, but I... I no. Re no more smoking, and no more talking. Hunch. Last time I was in here, something was really weird. Well, you're the one that's weird. I've got a hunch, too. I'm going to lose my private eye license, and you're not going to get one. Worse than that, we're going to wind up in jail. What everybody was telling me about Dinah and this Euro connection she's got to this Victor guy, I think this kidnapping is a setup. You're crazy. No, and I'm going to prove it, but we have to work fast while that cop is slopping up his dinner downstairs. You're serious. Oh, honey, you know my instincts are infallible. What are we looking for? Well, I think uh, something in this room that's got to be... Oh, my gosh! What? What did you find? These are mine. Five weeks. I've been searching for these things like a mad woman, and she had them the whole time, the little thief. David, what? What? What's missing here? Some, something used to be here. What is it? Think about it. What, what, what was here? A, a tape player. A, a, a boom box. That's what it was. They're not here. What? Edith Piaf. Dinah. They're her favorite tapes. Every single one of them's gone. All of them. find anything here. We just started looking. No, no, no. No. We're not looking for things that are here. It's what's not here that's going to crack this case wide open. Go on. Keep looking. Okay, Victor, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I, I don't want to mess this up. It's too good, but please, please, you have got to let me out of these handcuffs. I won't go anywhere. I, I, I promise. I won't even leave this room. Didn't you believe me when, when I said I wanted the money as, as much as you did? I mean, come on, you know me. Money is my most favorite thing on the planet. So I swear, from now on, whatever you say, I will do. I know, this, this has been very tense, this whole situation, for both of us. But in the end, it's going to be great. It's all going to be worth it, because we are going to be rich. And we're not talking about a measly $75,000 anymore. We are going to be millionaires, baby. 
Okay, so Dinah's here in this little dinky room and this big evil agent person comes in and kidnaps her, right? Mm. What's he gonna do? Give her time to get packed, get organized, grab her boombox, her favorite tapes, her blow dryer? I don't think so. Yeah, well, when you put it like that, it does look a little strange. Well, it's more than strange, it's absurd. Which brings us back to Dinah. Now, those are three things that girl can't live without. Now, if it were me, somebody were coming in to kidnap me, take me as prisoner, I wouldn't stop to think about Edith Piaf. You know what? Ross is going through hell over this. And if this is another one of Dinah's lying little schemes to scam some money, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna track her down and nail her skinny, scrawny derriere straight to the wall. Blake, wait! Come on, one little time. Very soon. Yeah. All right. Edward. Yeah. Uh, Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And would uh, you give us a call before you go? We want to see you. Sure. Where's Blake? Blake, uh, I lost track of her. I guess I stay at home. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah. You take care and call. Mm hmm. Ed, I, I think I'm going to go now, too. I'll walk out. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm awfully glad you're going to go to Europe, and I'm awfully glad Rick is going to stay here with you in Springfield. I don't know how to thank you for everything you've done. You don't have to. I mean, you don't have to at all. I love you. Hey. What can I do to make this easier on you? Just tell me. You cannot keep things a secret from me anymore. I promise me you never will again. I promise. Well, well, nice, nice work, Roger. <laughs> no, really, really, I mean that. Fletcher looks like a man who's lost his best friend. <laughs> Are you happy? I am. I think he's going to need someone to cheer him up, and fortunately, I'm pretty good at that. to keep Roger from ruining the wedding. I'm starting to like it a lot. I think we're getting really good at it, don't you? <laughs> you know what it does to me? It makes me want to be next to you all the more, all the time. <laughs> well, you know what? It's not going to last forever. We're going to be married very soon. Come on, let's go. No, go will see us. Right, so, so what? So, we've got the perfect alibi. We're going to edit Tangie's article. Right. We'll edit it very Fair quickly. Mm. And then we'll leave from the journal separately, of course, in separate cars. And I know this beautiful, cozy, sexy little restaurant way out of town. I'm there. Beautiful, I'm cozy there. dinner. Beautiful, sexy dinner. Den Did you get it? Did you get it? Oh, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it to me. You're welcome. Oh, what? A ransom demand was sent to this paper and then forwarded to the Springfield police. Miss Marler's parents are asking for proof their daughter hasn't been harmed. Oh, Victor, this is great. I mean, maybe they're having having fits, wondering if I'm if I'm dead or alive. I hope so. <laughs> I use my passport photo. No one looks human in a passport photo. Well, three guesses whose idea that was. Oh, great. We beat Ross. What's the big rush? It's our anniversary. The first. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Happy anniversary. 
three. Oh, that's OK, David. I mean, I don't even think Ross is going to remember with all that he's going through with Dinah and everything. You know, how do you think Ross will take it if your uh, theory about Dinah faking her kidnapping turns out to be true? Well, not well. At least not at first. But who else but me is going to be brave enough to tell Ross the truth about his witch of a daughter? I mean, she is such a monster. Yeah, I understand. Listen, I got to get going. Um, go easy tonight, OK? Uh, you tend to be a little impulsive. And you know Ross is sensitive when it comes to the subject of Dinah. Just let it go for tonight and enjoy your anniversary. Our anniversary is around it. Honey, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Oh, Ross, that's, that's OK, honey. I mean, you've had so much on your mind lately. Just shoot me. Nobody forgets their first anniversary. <laughs> Listen, I gotta head out, you guys. Have a good night, okay? Happy anniversary to both of you. Yeah, thanks, David. Thanks, David. Listen, I will talk to you tomorrow. Right. Okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. Hey, honey. Why don't you sit down? All right. Sit down. Take off your shoes. I'm gonna fix you a drink. I am going to pamper you all night long. Forget, make you forget all your worries. I wish you could, honey. I wish you could, but it's just not that easy. Dinah. There's nothing I can do but wait. But the thought of what she might be enduring right now makes waiting almost unbearable. Yeah. I know that she's given you a tough time from the very beginning. She's given me one, too. In fact, there have been moments when I wish that she had never come home from Europe because she was getting in the way of us. And I couldn't stand that. Well, you know, I, I really didn't know how you felt back then. I was afraid that if it came down to a choice between me and Dinah, um, you would have picked Dinah. No, sweetheart. And that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. See, I've learned something since then. I'm using it to get through these dreadful days. What? I've learned that whatever it is that we go through, and I pray to God we get through this, that we always come out on the other side together and stronger for it. That's what you've given me in our first year of marriage. And I thank you. Who is that? I can't imagine. All right. Whoever it is, I'm, I'm getting rid of them. OK. Hi. Ed. You know, I felt so stupid when you when you left today. I, I had forgotten what this day uh, was for you. So <clears throat> happy anniversary. Oh, Ed. Thank you. I can't believe you remembered. I mean, after. Everything that I go. Come in. Come in. Come on in. <laughs> Actually, we're we're um, kind of downplaying it ourselves this year. Oh. Yeah. Well, my dear sweet husband, he he's been so busy, he kind of forgot himself. Oh. No, he doesn't. He loves you too much for that. I just needed a little help from the good doctor with my gift, and then I asked him to come on over and celebrate with us, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. You remember? Yes, I remember. You two, you both did this? Oh, he couldn't have done it without me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, well, get this open. What? What is this? Mm. Oh. Each year, oh. we put in another rose. If anyone deserves to be happy, it's you too. And I have you, Black. <sighs> oh, Daddy. This whole experience has made me realize so many things. 
I'm so sorry for the grief that I caused you and Blake and... <laughs> I'm sorry for the heartache and the pain and... Heartache. Heartache? Heartache. I would never say heartache. Uh, no, they're going to see right through that. Hurry up, Dinah. Well, do you want this right or not? It's for the newspapers, not the Oscars. You know, I'm surprised at you, Victor. I'm surprised a pro like you would want me to be sloppy about this. Just do it. You know what your problem is, Victor? Yeah, you. No, it's that you don't know how to work with a partner. There has to be a sort of give and take here. Well, I've taken all the garbage I'm going to get from you. <laughs> That's more convincing. <laughs> well, I want them to believe me. Oh, I want them to care. Daddy, it's me. I'm fine. It's not so bad here. I mean, it's old and the paint's peeling. It's dark and, and damp. <laughs> Sometimes I hear things. I imagine they're probably rats, but I can't bear to look. <laughs> well, I've had a few meals, and I haven't been hurt yet, and... Uh, what now? Well, for a minute, I was starting to feel like uh, I was really... Oh, I don't know. This just isn't working for me. I can't find the right tension, the right pathos. Maybe if I did it breathier or something, you know, like, oh, oh daddy, oh, daddy. Yeah, that might, that might work, that might. <sighs> Was it your... To my dearest friend in the world, Edward, thank you for being here. I'll second that. Are you guys sure you don't want to have some wine? I mean, it doesn't yeah. bother me at all, really, please. No, 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 this is perfect. So tell me, when are you and Michelle going to Europe? Absurdly early tomorrow morning. Uh, so, another toast. Uh, <clears throat> to my dear friend and to the woman of his dreams, I love you both very much, and I am so grateful to have you in my life. Thank, Thank you, Ed. Eve used to say that if we could have a marriage that was half as happy as you, that we'd have the best time ever. Enough. I'll send you a postcard, okay? Mm. Oh, Ed, you're welcome to stay. Nah, Please. I've got a zillion things to do. I have to pack. I gotta try and find my passport, all that stuff. And I'm not afraid of the dark. Take care. Thanks for your help. Yeah, see ya. Thank you. Bon voyage. So lost, so alone. Uh. Dinah, you are beginning to seriously irritate me. And do you know what happens when I get seriously irritated? I need a release. And that means sometimes people fly out of windows. And if I'm not high enough up, a passing bus is very convenient. Congratulations, Dinah. Your performance will get you exactly what you want.
about Dinah. Right. Not tonight. Tonight, the you and me. Two, maybe a crew of three or four tops, just enough to scoot me around the Isles of Greece. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about getting out of here. I'm dreaming about fresh air. See, my mother's gonna discover how much she loves me, and then she's gonna gladly cough up the big bucks to get me out of here, and then off I go. Believe me, I can't wait. No more shopping on TV. Oh, no, I'm gonna be shopping in person. I need my big fat checkbook. Oh, maybe I'll pay cash. I mean, they 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 take cash on Rodeo Drive, right? That's what I'll do. I'll 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 have a big wad of hundreds and I'll just put it down on the counter and I'll say, take whatever you want. Oh, this is gonna be fabulous, Victor. This money is gonna be my ticket to the good life. I mean, our our ticket. And no more canned food either. My mother comes through with that beautiful ransom money. She's gonna book a four-star restaurant just for me to celebrate my safety. And I don't mean a table, I mean the entire restaurant. We're gonna have a seven-course meal with three desserts. <laughs> What? What are you looking at? Say something. <sighs> Victor, I promise my mother will come through with this money. Then call my office in the morning and make an appointment. I can't. It's the middle of the damn night. Make Show yourself help. out. No. I need your help. I need your help finding my daughter. You've come to me for help? Oh, yes, I have. Does Billy know about this? It has nothing to do nothing with Nothing to do with your ex-husband shooting me? You'll forgive me, but I know you'll understand if I tell you that that is generally one of the first things I that occur to me whenever I see you. I know you despise me, and I know you despise my family. And I know the feeling is mutual. I'm asking you to put that aside. Help me. Please help me. Please? Ooh, you are desperate. Yes, I am desperate. This man patching off that everybody thinks has my daughter. You know him. You know what he's capable of. What are the police doing the about The police it? are doing nothing. They're sitting on their heels and waiting for some break in this case, and it's not good enough. Springfield's finest. You know him, Roger. You know the way he thinks. You can anticipate what he's going to be doing. You overestimate me. No, I don't. I know that you're capable of doing things that the police would never do. What if it were your daughter? What if it were Blake? Help me. I'll make it worth your while. Why aren't you saying anything? Keep your voice down. I can't take the silence anymore. It's driving me crazy. Will you shut up? Your screaming is going to cost us everything. Okay, let's talk about cost then. Let's, you know, let's talk about what we're both going to gain. There is nothing to talk about. Well, I know you never actually said that you were going to let me in on this deal for a 50-50 split. That's but... right. I didn't. But you wouldn't squeeze it out of me now. I mean, not after all I've, I, I've been through to make this happen, Victor. I am the one who's been suffering through all of this. I am the one who has to eat Spam and, and bathe in a, a rusty tub with barely a bar of soap, and we have nothing that even resembles a towel, you know. Oh, what big deal. I have some CDs and a, and a, and a TV with terminal fuzziness. Besides, this was practically all my idea. 
If I remember correctly, you wanted to take Peter. I, I can just imagine how that would have worked out. I, I really don't see you changing diapers. So do you realize what this place would have smelled like by now? Not to mention the screaming. So I don't know why you're being so mean to me. I was just thinking about your friendship with Roger Thorpe. Oh. Uh, what? You, oh, you don't trust me because of Roger? Well, I barely know him. Really? I got the impression you were quite close. Well, this explains why you've been so cranky, but you've got it all wrong, Victor. Have I? I thought he was the white knight who rode up to rescue you. He just happened to be there. It's a coincidence. He just thought... He thought you were really going to hurt me. I was. Listen, I'm not saying I'm sorry that he showed up, but... He shouldn't have choked you like that. I mean, that was a perfect example of, of unnecessary force. I, I don't like violence. Listen, Victor, I, I, I'm telling you, I haven't seen him since that night, and, uh, you know, there's nothing we could possibly use each other for. We don't even know each other. And I'm telling you, Dinah, if you're lying, if Roger Thorpe tries to intercede again on he your... He won't! I hardly know the man. One thing you must never do, Dinah. Don't ever take me for a fool. Where are you going? I have some business to attend to. I suggest you get some sleep. When this thing starts to happen, it's all going to go down very quickly. There's going to be no margin for error. So have your wits about you. Rest. Clear your head. You'll make it worth my while? I'll make it worth your while. Get out. Now. Come on. What'd you think? You would just waltz in here and buy me off? I don't mean it as an insult. What do you mean it as, huh? Boy, what did you come to here, Vanessa, bartering off your own daughter? What is it you think you have tucked so neatly up your sleeve? Your grandson. What about him? Why would you bring him up? How does he enter into this? I've never made it difficult for you to see him. Oh, dear or be in God! Oh, this is a new role even trial, for you. You're awful. blackmailing me with my own Shut grandson! Up. I'm not talking about blackmail. That's the last thing that's on my mind. I'm asking you to... I'm asking you to try and imagine what it's like to be me right now. I'm trying to... What if it were your child? What if it were? What if it were Blake? I need to know about this man. I need to know if he were really desperate and really cornered, would he do something to hurt Dinah? I need your help, Roger. I'm begging you. Help me. I will do anything, I swear. No one can know, not even the police. I will be completely ineffective if they are watching I over my shoulder. I understand, we do it. If Dinah can be found, I will find her.
I'm losing my mind. Okay, we, we, we gotta finish this up. We gotta get this over with.